peyote en México, en la montaña, y dispuse de un paquete que me hizo permanecer dos o tres días entre los tarahumaras. Pensé entonces, en aquel momento, que estaba viviendo los tres días más felices de mi vida. Había cesado de aburrirme, de buscar una razón a mi vida y de tener que cargar mi cuerpo. Comprendía que estaba inventando la vida, que esta era mi función y mi razón de ser y que me aburría cuando había perdido la imaginación y el peyote me la daba y el peyote me la daba un ser se adelantó y de un golpe hizo salir el peyote de mí con él hice carne picada real y el cadáver de un hombre fue despedazado y lo encontraron despedazado en algún lugar. Dudo que este mundo no es el inverso del otro y mucho menos su mitad. Este mundo también es una maquinaria real cuya palanca de mando poseo. Es una fábrica verdadera cuya clave es el humor nato. I came to Mexico to make contact with the red earth and it stinks the same way that it embalms. It smells good the same way that it stank. Kaffir of urine from the slope of a tough vagina, which when we grab it refuses to give. Urinary camphor from the bulge of a dead vagina which smacks us when we spread it out. When we eye from the height of the clown's mirador, the ghastly father's hobnailed tomb, the hollowed hole, acrid hollow hole, where the cycle of red lice boils, cycle of solar red lice, all white in the veiny network of one, two, one, two. Who that two? And which one of the two? Who? The two? In the age? 
70 times cursed when man, crossing himself, was being born son of his sodomy on his own callous butt. Why two of them? And why of two? Why of two? Ghostly clown of the pussying father, filthy parasitic clone in the hollow mammothin pulled out of the fire for the sun swallowed whole. For the sun swallowed whole or nothing compared to the club foot of the immense articulation of old leg gangrene, old boneyard leg gangrene, where a shield of bones is ripening. A shield of bones is ripening. The warlike underground uprising of the shields of all corpse of the warrior, dead, forever refused to pass through the paraplus of the serpent, biting its tail from in front while daddy mommy make his buttocks bloody. And if scrutinizing closely in the tumefied slice of leg, from the old blotch thy bone there fall. It stinks. And it stank. It stinks, it stank. The red earth. I. 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 And there. I there. Am I there? I am. There. There. I am there. I there, and there resurges the old warrior of insurgent cruelty, of the unspeakable cruelty of living and not having a being who could justify you, and there fall into the anchored hole of the earth, seen from above. Anchored hole of the earth, seen from above, and a brooch, all the tips of lit up tongue, and which one day believe themselves souls, not even being wills, their rise, all the lightnings from the flogging of my dead hand against the tongue in revolt, and the sexes of will which are barely flung words that could not snag being but fall better than rejected sons into the cellar we're killing each other we're mommy daddy and pederast the sun from before it stank when the solar donkey believed himself good. And where was the sky in its round? Which one was outside, completely cunt from feeling the sky inside his cunt? Without anything that 
could raise a barrier against the void. Raise a barrier against the void. Where? No bottom. No upright. And no face. Nor top. And where? All hustles back to you at the bottom when one is all his length straight straight by a gust of night 
by a breath that has risen from the burial vaults of a dead race that has come to show its face here. A painted face. A face mocking and without mercy. Without mercy because the justice that it brings is not of this world. Be pure and chaste, it seems to say. Be virginal too. Or I will show you my Gehenna. And Gehenna opens. The wood harp of the seventh Tudagori is now throbbing horribly. It is the crater of a volcano at the height of its eruption. The slats seem to be breaking beneath the sounds like a forest blasted by the axe of a fantastic woodcutter. And suddenly, what one was waiting for happens. Sulfurous fumes, lilac-laden, emerge in a mass from a point in the circle which the six men have traced, which the six crosses have enclosed. And from beneath the fumes of flame, an enormous flame suddenly flashes. And this enormous flame boils. It boils with an unearthly sound. Its interior is filled with stars, with incandescent bodies, as if the sun in coming brought with it a celestial system. And behold, the sun has taken its position. It has formed in the middle of a celestial system. It has suddenly placed itself as if at the center of a tremendous explosion. For the flaming bodies, like the soldiers of an army at war, have fallen on each other, bursting. Now the sun has come round, and one can see a ball of flame on the same axis, on the same axis as the natural sun rise and leap, and leap from cross to cross, for it is dawn.